this year I feel like we made so many of these videos talking about this body and that body and somebody's body always hurting and being injured. Uh, and this is no different because apparently Lamar Jackson has a sprained ankle. But not only that, Jeff Zrebic, he said that the Ravens' concern is that Lamar Jackson may have a high ankle sprain. And with those, you can be out for a while. So he said that Harbaugh said they'll see how the quarterback responds on Monday and early this coming week. So basically, what that's saying is that Lamar Jackson is going to have to be evaluated to see the severity of how bad uh, that ankle injury is. Um, and that's like the Ravens have had so many blows to their team this year offense defense special team a little bit of everybody has gotten hurt um in all phases of the ball uh but this one no doubt would be uh the biggest blow to the squad the biggest blow lamar jackson because we all know like lamar jackson is lamar jackson lamar jackson is the ravens um and they live by die by lamar jackson now um, a couple of things with Lamar Jackson, and we talked about this during our post game stream. That with his injury, what I don't want the Ravens to do is to just be thinking about the here and the now when it comes back to Lamar Jackson. We've seen Ronnie Stanley rush back, oh, end up getting hurt out for the year now, gotta have another surgery. We've seen Nick Boyle, not sure if he was rushed back or not, because they took a lot of time with Nick Boyle. They took a whole lot of time with Nick Boyle, but then he came back and, and he still hurt. And then with Derek Wolf, I don't know what happened with him, but he looked like he was coming back. Then they said he got a back injury, and then it just it never ended up happening. Because they had actually taken him off of injury reserve, but then they ended up putting him right back on there. So my point is that the the Ravens, they they know like they know from experience. I'm not saying it happened with all three of those guys, but Ronnie Stanley for sure. But they know what it's like when they bring somebody back too early when they have a significant injury. And you just, you absolutely, and I know you want to win the Super Bowl this year. You want to really put it all out there this year. For sure. I get that. But you cannot risk your franchise quarterback's long-term health for short-term success. That's not even guaranteed. And again, we know nothing in the NFL is guaranteed, but Ravens, they have to be extra smart about this one. They really have to see what the analytics say about having a, an almost healthy quarterback for the last four games of the season and into the playoffs, as long as you make it there, versus having a hurt quarterback for next season and just messing up everything before it even gets started. So whenever Lamar Jackson does come back, whether it be this season or whether we have to wait till next season, even though that would be very, very painful, I would be willing to be patient if it meant that we for sure get in a fully healthy Lamar next year and we don't have to risk him coming back too early this year because you do not, you cannot afford, you cannot afford. And you know what? Another thing too. Just like the Ravens can't afford to make Lamar Jackson's injury worse, Lamar Jackson can't afford to make his injury worse because he doesn't have the big contract yet. And the Ravens need to be extra careful with how they handle this. And Lamar Jackson and his camp, they need to be extra careful on how they handle this too. Now, we know Lamar, he will say, oh, I ain't thinking about the money, I ain't thinking about a deal, and we get that. Trust me, we do. Even though we know you want to get paid. We know you want your bread and you deserve your bread. But he got to think about it in this case. Because don't, <laughs> don't make short-term decisions have a negative impact on your long-term future. So we'll see how they do things. But if he ain't all the way back, please don't rush him. And again, we know it's Lamar, but please don't rush him. Shout out to Tyler Huntley. Man, Tyler Huntley, it's like whenever I watch this guy, man, I um I don't know, man. I just feel like I'm like watching like a little cousin or something. And, and you're just so proud of them, man. 
You just, like you're just so proud of them. Uh, and yeah, they they gonna, they make their mistakes here and there. And I know a big part of the game today was Tyler Huntley's fumbles because he he had the one fumble that got returned for a touchdown, and had the other fumble that uh, just took away the points off the board. So his two fumbles they took away three from the Ravens and they added seven to the Browns. So they were big. Um, one of them was on the offensive line, the one that added seven to the Browns, and the other one, um, Tyler Huntley was just trying to make a play, didn't secure the ball, guy came up from behind, knocked it out. But regardless, the fumbles happened, and they were part of the game. They were a big part of the game. But I am still uh, very proud of Tyler Huntley, how he came in there. Uh, he did his thing. First pass of the game, Tyler Huntley, I think he threw it to Hollywood, and it was just like, whoa, hold up, hold up Tyler, who, who's that for now? Uh, but he he just had to ease in a bit. And as the game went along, more and more, he looked more and more comfortable. More and more comfortable. And I would expect to see him next week against the Packers. I I, I don't think that Lamar is going to be out there next week. And I would assume that they would call up uh, Chris Sylvester. I forget. I feel like I'm saying his name wrong. The one who the Ravens just signed to their practice squad who came from the Cardinals. When the Cardinals got Trace McSorley and they signed him to the active roster. Um, but I just, I don't expect um, Lamar Jackson to play against Aaron Rodgers next week. Uh, so we'll see. But with Tyler Huntley, you, like, it gives you a, a newfound confidence in him when you see what he did and when you really think about what the situation is overall. Reason I say that is because Tyler Huntley came in. Uh, this week, he's obviously the second string quarterback. He plays with all the second string guys. Um, he'll probably get a little time here and here and there with the first string guy, but he is mainly with the second string guys. That's where all his chemistry is. I mean, that's why you see he has such a, a huge amount of trust, big trust for Rashad Bateman. Rashad Bateman is a second string guy. First round pick, second string guy. We've seen him be a playmaker, but he was still a second string guy. He's maybe like, like 1.8, 1.9 kind of guy because um, he wasn't. A, a starter um, But you see the situation That he was put in Lamar Jackson went out He went in And they always say Stay ready so you ain't gotta get ready I always say that uh, And this was no different Once Tyler Huntley settled in He was making people miss In the open field Like he was moving swiftly Smoothly He was running better than Lamar Jackson Has been this season in this game, he was running much better than Lamar Jackson. And I don't say that as a shot to Lamar Jackson at all. I'm saying that because I, I really do feel like Lamar Jackson has been hurt this year. It seems like Lamar Jackson has been hurt like all year. He has not been running the way that we know that he can run. He hasn't been. He's been running like slower, uh, heavier. He just, he doesn't look like the same Lamar. He really doesn't. So something, I don't know what it is, but something has been bothering him this year. So with this ankle injury, whatever it's going to end up being, hopefully it isn't a high ankle sprain, but really the way that the season has been going, you, you, I know everybody's pretty much expecting the worst. I know they are, we are, because that's just the kind of news that Ravens have gotten for the most part when it comes to all of their players. So I almost feel like Ravens, I don't think, well, it, it obviously depends on everything. Because the scenario, I'm going to tell you all the scenarios that are going on through my head. Um, I don't think the Ravens are going to put Lamar Jackson on injury reserve. Uh, I think they will obviously see how his body responds. Um, but they will plan for life without Lamar Jackson for this season. Um, and it'll be just Tyler Huntley's season for the rest of this year. Uh, and I think they wouldn't put him on injury reserve in hopes that his ankle will respond well, his body will respond well. And he can be back for a potential late, late in the season, maybe against the Steelers or for the playoffs. But then the question there is, say, for instance, say, for instance, Tyler Huntley goes two and two as a start of these last four games, which two, who knows, whatever. Say, for instance, he goes two, he goes two and two and he's playing some good football. With Lamar Jackson, if he's not 100% healthy but good enough to play, do you bring him back and mess up the potential chemistry? Or do you sit him and just let him sit out the rest of the year just in case and, and have him be the backup to Tyler Huntley? 
And I know a lot of people are like, oh no, you start Lamar, you start Lamar. But to me, everything just depends on so much. I don't think it's just so clear as day. I think it, it de- depend. The, the biggest thing it depends on is his health. Is his health. He would have to, again, it goes back to what I was saying early on in the video. His health is the biggest thing, and you cannot rush him back. You can't. Because the long-term health, his health, the health of Lamar Jackson is the health of this team. If Lamar Jackson ain't healthy, these Ravens, they ain't going to be healthy at all. You're going to be able to see it. So they got to be so smart with this thing. Now, I'm not saying that Tyler Huntley is better than Lamar. I'm not. But I'm saying it, you just got to make a smart decision with this whole thing. Tyler Huntley moving forward against the Packers. He is, and again, I don't, I, this is based off of me just not expecting Lamar to play this week against the Packers. But Tyler Huntley, he will know if he does end up starting, he will know all throughout the week, all right, I'm the starter. And we saw how comfortable he looked the more and more the game went on. We saw that. So with that being said, if he goes in throughout the entire week as, all right, it's me. It's my time. I'm going to be playing. Then that will help him out so much. Because even in the Bears game, he did an all right job in that game. But even that, in that game, he was not expecting to be the starter. It came all up and down to the day of the game. Then Lamar, he said, Lamar sent that text. Sent that late text. Like, ooh, I'm going to be late, Tyler. Well, you know what? In fact, I ain't going to be late. I'm going to miss the game. You do your thing. He was like, oh, okay, no problem. I got you. So even in the Bears, it was, it was similar to this game where Tyler was expecting to go into the game as a backup. But now he would be going through this week knowing he's a starter. So that can help him be even more prepared. Because it's crazy how as a backup, as a backup, how he's come in and he's looked good. He ain't been lighting up the scoreboard or anything like that, but he has looked comfortable. He hasn't been looking like just some random backup. He's been looking like, like in practice and all that, like this dude be on his P's and Q's. He be on his stuff. So, and again, with Tyler Huntley, if he's going to end up being the quarterback moving forward for the rest of the season, well, until Lamar is healthy, he has less loyalty than Lamar. What I mean when I say that is that, you know, Lamar, Andrews, Hollywood. Andrews Hollywood, those have been the guys he's been rocking with. And we know they, they could both make a lot of plays. Well, all three of them, of course. But Tyler Huntley, it's like, okay, well, I've just been here a year and change. All right, I'll throw to whoever. You give it every, any, every, anybody a shot. And another thing, too, with Lamar, I just feel like, with the, I feel like one of the reasons that Tyler Huntley he comes in and, and he just picks up so well is because there's just less pressure on him. He's not the starter. He ain't got contract talks going on. He ain't got. He just ain't got everything that Lamar got going on going on. So I think that that really helps him in his game, and that just helps him breathe. I feel like Lamar just. I feel like there's so many things going on in Lamar's head. I don't know for sure. Only he does. But I feel like it's just so much going on in his head. Every single snap, every single play, and a lot of times he just he he loses the instincts. Instead of playing instinctively, he just he, he can overthink a lot of the times. Um, but again, hopefully that that can be corrected. Hopefully he gets a chance to play again this year, man. I um it's just scary to think about because man, like I said, every time we get Ravens news, just about every time we got Ravens news this year when it comes to injuries, it's just been bad. So we'll see how things go. Team, keep it clean. Appreciate y'all. Um. I said, hope Lamar ankle will be straight. Uh, but if not, then it's Tyler Huntley till Lamar gets back. So we'll see how things go. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. And just like Lamar is for we don't know how long, I'm out.